Hi everyone. In today's video, I'll talk a little bit about uh, how to uh, refer to chapters within your own thesis. So when you are putting your thesis together and you are doing your final write-up, um, how do you refer to the chapters which have previously uh, been written? So let's say you are in chapter 4 and you want to refer to chapter 1 or 2 or 3. Um, how do you do that? What is the correct way? Because uh, some of my uh, students use different terms. Uh, some uses uh, this dissertation, some uses in this thesis, uh, some uses previously. So I want to make it very clear as to how you should be uh, putting in the reference. This is my recommendation. You can of course ask your own supervisors and guides uh, to guide you. So many students often get confused and when they are writing the chapters, uh, sometimes they will say in this dissertation or sometimes they will say in this thesis previously I have discussed like that. So what I have noticed is uh, sometimes people use dissertation uh, or thesis, uh, nothing wrong with that but uh, I normally recommend to my students to not use the word dissertation or thesis. Uh, dissertation is fine but I normally discourage them from using the word thesis, uh, sometimes even dissertation to be honest. What I tell them is uh, write in this study. So study is the word I recommend to my students instead of writing dissertation or thesis. The other thing is uh, many students often write uh, previously or uh, above or in the last chapter uh, I have mentioned something like that. So again this is not very clear uh, because remember it is the thesis or the structure of the thesis is very clear in your head. Uh, it is not for the person who is examining or reviewing your thesis. So to them you have to lay the map very clearly. So you have to mention the specific chapter numbers or the specific sections in the previous chapters. Simply writing uh, previously or uh, before or um, in the aforementioned uh, chapter or uh, paragraph, uh, sometimes it doesn't uh, clearly tell the examiner which chapter or which section you are referring to. So be very clear. So you can say in chapter 4, also don't say in the methodology section or in the methodology chapter just write section 4 or rather chapter 4 section 6 um, if you want you can write paragraph but section 4 uh, par chapter 4 section 6 uh, I have mentioned or you know not I have mentioned but it was mentioned uh, so and so so that's how you refer so uh, it should be very clear so remember that a person who's reading your thesis should be able to quickly uh, reference to the text to the paragraph to the chapter that you are talking about um, without having any doubts as to what you mean. Um, so uh, treat it uh, like a study. Uh, many many students uh, say it's a thesis so why can't I refer to the why can't I call it a thesis or a dissertation and like I said nothing wrong with that it depends on of course your advisors your university requirements but what I recommend to my students is write in this study. Uh, sometimes you will be doing projects or research projects then you can write in this research project but I am talking purely from the thesis point of view when you are writing the thesis uh, because uh, sometimes when you are writing a publication on its own then you can write uh, in this research study or in this research project or this research uh, but in the thesis uh, sometimes it's okay to write um, in this study and then make it very clear as to which chapter you are referring to. Uh, try and avoid using the words previously aforementioned uh, unless it's in the same sentence. So when you write one sentence and the next sentence then you might say that in the aforementioned sentence or in the aforementioned paragraph. But if the reference is a few paragraphs away or a few chapters away or a few sections away then make it very clear as to which section uh, specifically you are referring to. If required uh, you can uh, give a quick brief summary or a brief reminder as to what you mentioned or what you wrote in the previous section. So it is very clear to the reader. Ima imagine yourself as the reader who has a uh, you know they don't have any idea about your research how you have written it how you have structured it they don't remember everything what you have written previously 
so you have to lay out the map to them very clearly so that when they are reading it it's a pleasure to them they can find it very easy to read very uh, smooth flow there should be a smooth flow to it uh, they should enjoy it rather than then trying to go back and look at the chapters look at the reference and getting confused so that will annoy the examiner and reviewer so that is how you have to think that you have to lay the map very clearly to a novice reader to a new reader they may be experts in their field they may be very senior researchers but at the end of the day your thesis is new to them it's like reading a new book so they don't want to be annoyed they don't have the luxury of time to go back and forth so make it very clear to them all right so i will stop the video here if you have any questions um, mention in the comment section below and i will try my best to answer it thank you for watching today's video and bye for